Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about is it worth starting a seasonal character today or right now? So as you guys may know, the season is going to be ending on the 26th of this month. So you don't actually have that much time left to play on the seasonal server. So this is my character right now. She's level 58 and she's done most of the battle pass or the seasonal things. I've got to go to Polly's Forest, kill a thousand things, hit level 60, use a peel of face scroll, kill Kazarka, Karanda, and equip a bunch of things and then finally hit level 61. So it's not that difficult for me. I'll probably be able to finish all of this in like two days maximum mainly because hitting level 61 on the seasonal servers is not difficult at all since I am using Levi's method of just questing and leveling up that way. For those who don't know who Levi is, he is Evil Do Us Harm, he has a YouTube channel. Link to his leveling guide will be in the description below in case you guys are struggling to hit level 61 and you're kind of panicking since the season is ending very very soon. So circling back, is it worth making a seasonal character now? And it really depends on your situation. If it's your first time playing Black Desert online and you don't have a character on the regular servers, then yes, make your first character on the seasonal servers. The reason for this is because you're going to get these Naru accessories, Naru gear very, very easily and you're going to be able to upgrade them to pen extremely, extremely easily and it will help you progress your character very, very quickly. Because once you get your Naru gear to pen, you'll be able to exchange them to the Pry versions of the Tuvala gear, which is much, much better. So basically, progression is super easy, they're giving you a ton of free gear, and they've got their own like seasonal currency, these time filled black stones, these refined magical black stones, as well as this Tuvala ore. So what you can do is, if you have this ore, which drops from regular mobs as well, and you can also use the time filled black stones, 10 of them can be transferred into one of these ores. And these ores basically allow you to exchange to the Tuvala gear. You see, you can get the helmet, the armor, gloves, shoes, weapons, sub-weapon, awakening weapon, and five of them can be exchanged for accessories. So it makes life super, super easy in order to get all of your gear. So progression is very streamlined, very easy. So if it's your first character, make it on the seasonal server so that you can progress easily, smoothly, and just have fun with the game, okay? So there are seasonal rewards, obviously. So if we look at the benefits over here, we can get a pen Kaposha earring or a pen Kaposha ring if you're able to complete 40 dailies. So the daily challenge is one every single day and you have to complete 40 days worth of dailies in order to redeem your pen Kaposha earring or your pen Kaposha ring. So now you're gonna ask me, hey Caro, the season ends on the 26th. There is no 40 days. We've got less than like 20 days to do this. We're not gonna be able to get our pen Kaposha earring or our pen Kaposha ring. And luckily for us, that's not the case. As long as you've done one day worth of dailies, you're gonna be able to continue your daily progression every single day, even after the season ends. So for example, I started my character three days ago. So I'm on day three right now. So after the season ends, I'll be on day 30. However, I'll still be able to complete my 40 dailies even after the season ends and I'll still be able to get my pen Kaposha earring or ring depending on what I want. So that is very very good news and I recommend it because getting a free pen Kaposha earring or ring it's a big deal okay it's a very big deal it's like a couple billion silver worth of free gear. And another thing is you can see over here we get season exclusive gear and that is if you hit level 61 before the season ends you also get two pieces of pen accessories as well which is again another couple billion silver worth of gear. And not only that if you're able to finish the season pass you're able to get this otter emote which to me is a big deal because I like emojis but maybe to you you don't care too much so uh, if you don't then you know just don't bother with the season pass but I personally am going through the season pass. So in my personal opinion, I think the seasonal servers are worth starting even now. Even though you've only got like 20 days left to play the season servers, I still think it is worth playing mainly because of just the rewards. The rewards are too good to pass up. However, there are certain exceptions. 
let's say that you don't want to level up another character or you just don't enjoy the process of leveling up and you already have a very strong character on the regular servers and you won't be benefiting from getting your pen kabosha earring or your ring or any of the pen gear on the seasonal servers if that's the case then i would recommend you to just chill you know play play another game casually or play black desert casually and wait until the second season comes out which will be coming out shortly after the first season and see what the rewards are there then go ham when season two comes out so just conserve energy now and then go hard when season two comes out if that's the case but for most people i still recommend you to blast through the season servers right now or season one mainly because the rewards are just amazing it's super super nice and we get all this exp boost which uh, levels up very very quickly so in tomorrow's video i'll be talking about all the mistakes that i made on the seasonal servers keep in mind i've only played for three days but i made a ton of mistakes which uh, cost me a lot of time which uh, is very unfortunate i'm going to be sharing all those mistakes that i've made in tomorrow's video so that you don't make the same mistakes as i did and you'll be able to fully utilize the 20 days or so left in the season you could honestly finish everything in like a weekend if you don't make any of the mistakes that i did you could do everything in like two days i'm confident that most of you guys would be able to blast through everything in two days okay so stay tuned for tomorrow's video anyway that's all i wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did i would appreciate it subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye what can i say except you're welcome